I'm gonna go check out the chaser. I'm gonna find some bangers, I don't care what anyone says. Watch me. Almost got one over there though. I would love that. She'd love it, but um. Oh. Go, Jettas, go! <laughs> oh dear. Cross saber in hell. 150. Not worth just getting them without even researching, to be honest. I don't think there's anything special, but... Let me check this one out. A little more newer one, that does. Found a really nice branded wallet. I don't think I've ever seen a Funko in a shop. <sighs> Someone's just done it, loads of games. Now you know I just saw what he brought in. No, games. You know I like to buy, I like to buy some games. For God's sake. Dumped in front of me. I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Okay. 100%. In the industry, we call that right time, right place. It just worked out perfectly. So as you saw, I just popped out to do some, well, I'm close up, hello. Just popped out to drop some parcels off and I can't not go in the Chazza, do you know what I mean? Let's get this set up while I talk to you. Yeah, I can't not go in the charity shop. Well, I was having a Kieran Barnet, having a rummage around in there and found some lightsabers, picked up the ones that have either the pop-out accessories. I remember having that one before and selling it for like, I can't remember what, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to go in there and then I'll take that one out and keep that on there. But this one had solds of like £15. It was 150 175 that one. Paid up for that. So I sold a £15 for that. I don't really know about this one to be honest, but I'm pretty sure I've sold this one before. That's what was reminding me. You pop out, George had this. So do you like, and then they come out naturally, because that one did. Or was it stuck, or was it a button? Can't remember, don't care. One pound's 50. And this one, just because it was noisy. I don't know who the green is. Is that Skywalker green, I think? Skywalker? We'll have a look but these are always worth picking up whenever you sell these regardless what you do or what you think they're going to be used for make sure you put cosplay in the title a lot of people who might be going to comic con for the weekend or a fancy dress party they might think shit i need a lightsaber i go on ebay type in cosplay fancy dress lightsaber and yours will be there because you've used the right keywords by the way we are going to show some sales today now this was in there i looked at it i thought oh, she'll love that I had a look on the back and saw fisher price 2016 and thought oh my god then I press play. Bravo, I know that theme tune. Go Jedders. Go Jedders. Go Jedders. Go. There you go. She loves it. I saw a listing for £25. I didn't really check for sold. Let's have a look. Go Jetters Unicorn 2016 Fisher Price. Yeah, like £12.99, £12.99, £11.99, £9.95. Yeah, all the solds. So to be fair, I think she can have it. I saw a listing for £25 and bought it, knowing full well that I could have a backup and give it to someone who really loves it. She'll love that. And she can have that, but she can also have her backup plan. I bought this because I didn't want her to have nothing, but little bush baby world thing. Freaky little things, aren't they? <laughs> and then of course, this. Panasonic DVD VCR. You can actually copy your VCR to DVDs on this one. These things are worth an absolute fortune. It was six pounds. 
it says cassette not tested, the VHS. But the remote alone is worth more than £6. Spares or repairs, I could easily... Oh my God, I've left the sound on. It's all my Vinti parcels been dropped off, notifications. Try to ignore it for a minute. But these things, especially the Panasonics in this model, are worth an absolute fortune. You can get up to £250 if you want to refurb it. You can get around about 160 sort of top end pre-owned and anywhere from a guaranteed 99.99. Spares or repairs, you can get 40 quid for these. So £6 is an absolute no-brainer. No problem, don't mind testing that. It says the cassette's not tested, which means, as far as I'm aware, the DVD must have might be, because the electrical tester was in there today. But I've got a video cassette. I'll test that today and find out. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. I've been and dropped the parcels off and probably found at least another 100 quid to add to my business, at least, if you're talking spares repairs and stuff with all of the bits. Beautiful. Now, let's get some more sales out the door. I swear to you, I wish I was recording. I gave it to her and she went... I don't like them. But I am going to have my coffee and my pastries before I do anything. Apple Danish and a chocolate twist. Get at me. Oh, and also I'm expecting a Timu parcel today and I'm really excited about it. It better come today because I thought it was coming yesterday, but it didn't. So I'm hoping it comes today. Not sponsored, just bought some shit. Oh, every man's here. Please be my parcel. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not waiting for you. Oh, it is. That's the great bag of love. That's what I wanted to see. Good one for you, right? Oh, team mate. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a good day. I don't think everything they'll have ordered is going to be in here. I think it's split over two days, two parcels. But let's have a look. Well, that's supposed to be a metallic phone case. There's nothing metallic about that. And it looks absolutely wank. And it's bent. Now, if you've ever ordered a phone case before and it's come bent, you know that never bends back out again. That might, though, that little bit there, to be fair. That might. Can't show you what's on there. But, that's wank. Oh, yeah, some AirPod covers. Here's my AirPods. I know. Just some um, knockoff off whites. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go back into drug dealing, I think. Going to get myself some narcotics. No, these are just because every time I want to do a large letter, I want to make sure it's under 100 grams, that's all. That's all these are for. So don't ask me how I know, but if you get a 1p coin, it should weigh 3.5 grams. That's how you know if your scales are on point or not. If you haven't got a weight to hang. Well, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's crushed. Oh, sunglasses. Just got some cheap clear frames. Oh, they look massive. I look like Lady Gaga. Not impressed. <laughs> and then we have a nice, small, compact metal. Just a nice, you know, good for playing baseball. Just nice to have around you for when you want to quickly get into a baseball game nice and light it'll probably bend in one hit of the ball but it's only got a last one isn't it it's only got a last one hit nice and light nice and small get them off oh here's my hats so you've got a duck hat because i like ducks And a nice little beige corduroy. It is what it is. Oh, and these. Totally not the colour I ordered. Just some cheap sliders to piss around in, in the garage. I keep putting my... That's nice, isn't it? I'll save them when I get a pair of shoes. I keep putting my Adidas sliders on, but they just don't feel comfortable. When I saw the ad on these, that just looked like it was going to be well comfy on the feet. Do you know what I mean? Loads of little cushion spikes find out if it fits yeah they fit oh it's like having a massage on your feet as you walk along absolutely fantastic oh i know they're only going to last two minutes as well but 
snazzy. All you foot fetish people, that was a freebie. You too, mate. Oh, by the way, I might be cutting my hair. I'm toying with the idea. I like that one, that fits nice as well. It's a good shape. It is what it is. Oh, these feel so nice. They're definitely going to last 10 minutes. My Adidas ones that I've got now, I've had for the best part of seven years. And all they need is a wipe over. But yeah, that phone case is supposed to be really shiny and metallic. It's how the pictures made it look. That's why I bought it. But it's not. Whack. See, I'll find you a screenshot of the pictures. What's that fucking ship's window about as well? I thought that was MagSafe. <laughs> Whatever. There you go. There. It's my Timu haul. I can't stress enough that how sad I'm going to be when these fall apart. Because they will. They're just Timu crap. Let's be honest. I don't reckon they've got six months in them. But they just feel... I just want to get up and take steps back and forward to the house in them. Right, anyway, let's move on with some stuff. Okay, we will start with Vinted, I think. Get out of the way. Move, bitch. Too far. Oh, no. Fights out. Right, £6.50. We've sold the last of the Nintendo plush that we picked up for. Just spin if you want, mate. Just spin if you want. Whoever it was that gave the recommendation for a draftsman's chair. Big up. I found some. I'm going to order some today. I forgot about that. I found some last night. They're in the basket. I can't remember. I want to say your name's... I can't remember. I'll find it. There you are. I'm going to order one of those soon. £6.50. Nope. £5.74 for the pair. Beautiful. Paid a pound each. So I've made like 20 quid already on the other ones that were there. So I've just pressed the wrong button here because I'm a dweeb. Vintage Corgi Batmobile Copter thing. That came in that £5 box of random goodies, which I've already made over £100 on so far. Sold that for £3 on Vinted. And that one has gone to Stefan. He sent me a message with a photo saying, I'm just watching you on a campsite in Belgium. Appreciate you, mate. I hope you enjoy the trip. Is the weather even nice in Belgium? Do you say have a nice weather? Have a nice weather. Enjoy the weather. Forget it. Appreciate you, Stefan. Sold the last of the Funko Pops now. One, two, three, four, five. Just to get rid of them from that last deal, I accepted an offer of £10 for the lot on Vinted, so I'll just get £10. So I paid £40 for that deal, I think. Was it 40 quid? 40 or 45? I've done like 220, so we don't mind that. I can't be asked to dig them all out either. If I can remember to put a screenshot up, I will. This one is sold to Mark now, so we finally made some profit on them two bundle things that I picked up, the rainbow thing and the other one. Mark sends a message that says, Thanks, Ricky. I'm a long-time viewer of your channel. I love your videos and positivity towards life. All the best, mate. Mark from Salisbury, which is not too far for me, to be honest. Really appreciate that, brother. Be on its way to you shortly. These shoes feel so good. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. We've sold the Mark Jacobs sunglasses that I am actually going to include the Dolce and Gabbana case. So, a little freebie there, probably sell that on. It's a bit marked up and stuff, but hey, it's free. Sold for £5.94, and they have gone to Lewis and Helen again. The guys that picked up the Marvel sweater, the Marvel, Marvel, have this really weird thing where sometimes I say my V's as does and does as V's. That like I'll say weather, or I will say nether. But I mean never, even though never's a word as well. Forget it. Appreciate you guys. Paid £29 for a bundle of trainers. And I actually accepted quite a good offer on these ones. Because I have three pairs to list. I got one that I listed last night. One that these were already listed before. And another pair of these. So Gemma, under the username of Little Old Sketch. Please go and check her out on all the social medias that you can. She does pet portraits. So if you've got a little pooch or a little meow meow. So scream. If you've got a little dog or a little cat and you would like to get a pet portrait, go and check her out. Gemma paid £20.21 and pence for these. Bargain. These are the supers. I appreciate that, Gemma. Little old sketch. Go and check her out. Claire has picked up the last weird fish jumper from the £5 bundle. Sold for £12.20. £12. Claire, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sold the Ferrari Scuderia. Um... Or Scudaria, however you want to say it. Windbreaker jacket, brand new with tags, covered in marks. Elastic started to solidify, so it's not really in the best condition. 
Could have been worth a hell of a lot of money. Paid £3, sold it for £10. I don't mind that. That sun is getting a bit bright on there, isn't it? But I refuse to have the light on. I don't like to have the video light on unless I really have to. Nice! I'll show you that when we get down to the eBay stuff. Elijah has picked up the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Hobgoblin Spider-Man thing that I picked up the other day for £2. Sold for £7, so I've made a fiver on that. I'm never complaining at that. You know what I mean? Never. It's a good deal for somebody else, and I've made some dosh. That's how I like to live my life. Hi, Ricky. Recently found your YouTube channel, and me and the other half have been binging your videos every night. Would love to support you and the channel by making a purchase. Thank you for the hours and hours of great entertaining and knowledgeable content. Would you accept a cheeky offer of £7 for this guy? I replied with the offer for £7. I said, absolutely. I don't think I said so bloody. Absolutely. Elijah, massively appreciate that, mate. On its way to you. Soon. Today. It'll be today. And a nice little deal now for James. James has bought... The Darkling statue box is absolutely battered, but the statue is fantastic. It's in great condition. James says, hey, dude, been watching your channel for a while now, and I want to say thank you for the times you've made the shit days that are a little bit easier. Thank you, mate. I'm glad. I recently did a deal with X, Y, and Z on some graphic novels, necker figures, so have some room for this gem. Always, um, anyways, I'm waffling. A big love and keep smashing it. Mate, I massively appreciate that. Nobody waffles like I waffle, I'll guarantee it. So that was nothing. I didn't say the name of the person you did the deal with because business is business, it's none of my business. Appreciate it, James, on its way to you soon. That's going out for £45.42. Part of that big Jaguar deal. I don't think I've got anything left on that now, apart from a couple of small little figures and a key ring. And I've already made piles of cash. Not to gloat, but that's what, that's what I'm here for. If I'm making money, I'm doing the right thing. I'm succeeding in my job. You get me! Right, eBay next, but I want to get this table cleared as always. So I'm going to package these up, ship them out the door. I just wanted to bring something to your attention quickly before I am packing my stuff now, so I'm actually working through it. But I just remembered something. So yesterday I had to do a refund and the item was those chameleon energy monitors. The chap said that he couldn't get it to register to his device or his system, whatever. Rung up the energy company and they said to him that those monitors are normally registered to one system and... You can't unregister it, as far as they were concerned. So I did some research, and it seems like they are correct pairing. That's the word. It's paired. So the ones I've sold before and had no issues with must have been unpaired. And I've also got one that I sent out just yesterday or the day before that I'm obviously hoping and praying isn't paired. But that's something for me to know now in the future. Try and find a way to check pairing. There must be a way to do it. But yeah, just bear that in mind. The Chameleon Tech ones could be with some other ones as well. If they've been paired before... You might not be able to unpair them and then they become useless pieces of junk. So the chap wanted to return it. I just refunded him and said, I understand your situation. Thank you for the knowledge. I appreciate it. I'll be more wary in the future. Keep the item, bin it, whatever. Keep the charger. The charger's probably worth money. And go from there and just refund it. So hopefully he's fair and doesn't leave me crap feedback over that. But if he does, he does. I'll just try and appeal it. And if it doesn't work, then so be it. I'm not going to stress about it. But I just thought it was worth sharing in case you see my videos and go, oh, chameleons, they sell for this, they sell for that. I've had the knowledge, I've had the information. It's my duty to pass it on. All right, let's carry on with this. These are Lewis's sunglasses. Really nice outfit. Loving Froggy at the minute. eBay now, and I'm hoping we can do this without the sunshine completely ruining our lives, my life. So Carl has picked this up just in the last few minutes, to be fair. There's two that sold after I picked everything. The Louis Vuitton book. Really cool, actually. The Louis Vuitton catwalk book. Loads of, like, designs and stuff in there of previous catwalks and whatever else. The book looks awesome. I would really like one in a Gucci pattern, if I'm being honest. Yes, I reckon shimmerism, whatever, whore. Don't care. £5 paid, sold for £19.99. All in. It's going to be a chunky one to post, so I might make six or seven quid on it eight quid after fees etc carl really appreciate you mate thank you ever so much on its way to you shortly the alphonse mucha mirror that I picked up for three pound i've sold it for 23 pound could have got a bit more i had it listed for more but I took an offer because when the offer comes in nicely above the purchase price i'll take it i've noticed a few people have realized that i take 
nice low offers. I don't take stupidly low offers. I do always have a margin or something like that in mind. So if the offer is too low, I'm going to decline it and maybe counter you. I'm always happy to do deals for people who watch the channel and stuff. Always. But I'm not going to do myself out. Couple of Ariston speakers now. We have two of these. There's one there and there's one just there. Can't be asked to grab it. Don't need to. Sold for £18.99 the pair. Picked these up with a stereo that I paid £5 for. The stereo is up there. Still haven't listed it yet. The Sony one that was in the back of the charity shop one time. A lovely little Bambi snow globe now. As mentioned before, anything breakable, I always wrap it in paper, then wrap it in bubble wrap for my storage process. Don't want things getting broken before it's sold, do we? Paid £3.50 for this, sold it for one, two, three, four, twelve pounds and thirty-four pence. Repeat buyer, Jane, I've just noticed. So if you watch the channel, Jane, thank you ever so much. And for £16.95 now, another sale that has just came in recently. Sony HVL Flash, I think it is. Video light for camcorders, £16.95. And we've just had another sale as well on Vinted for £23. The other pair of those, Sambas. So I'm now fully into profit by about 20 odd quid. I've got another pair of shoes down there. Three more pairs of shoes actually. I've got another pair of the blue Sambas, the Supergas and the Adidas Cushions or whatever they're called. Let me just check to make sure that was actually what I thought it was. Just your thing that says, when your order comes through for £23. Yeah, it is, yeah. So for £23, had not listed for 28 They sent me an offer of 15 I think, to begin with. But that's already a bargain. Even, even list price is already a bargain. On that note, let me get packing. I keep saying that's it for sales, but a few more pop up. So I might as well tell you what they are. Bridgestone hat, which I've picked up that massive bundle for 50 quid. This is sold for £9 on eBay. So minus fees and postage on that one. And the lovely Shazzy has just picked up a couple of like walkie talkies they've got battery leakage and things like that in them they're quite cool i think the transformers actually use these for their walkie talkie line i think they bought these and just put their graphics and stuff on them but these are knackered listed for six pounds 49 shazzy has sent me an offer of eight pound and i'm glad she has because what i'm going to do is i've got a couple of bits that she wanted to pick up a little while ago but something happened in the background no stress to her and now i can just bundle them all in the box so shazzy really appreciate your offer I'll get that and a few other bits sent out to you shortly. Lovely jubbly. If any more sales come in before I do an outro, I'll just put them in. I still haven't managed. Look, I'm still doing my postage. I'm not complaining. Keep trying to get through it and little bits keep popping up. It's a good problem to have. I'm bored of packing now, so I'm actually going to leave those ones to just... I'll do them later. What I am going to do is test that VCR DVD player that we picked up. We're going to get that done. Also want to show you another edition. Look at me. I want to show this. I want to show that. Some of you remember I had one light up here. I now have two. Much better. Spreads it out. The only thing is that is horrific and I hate it. I've been waiting to try and find this and I've just uncovered it. A nice short leaded extension cable. So we're going to get that out there today as well. And then whatever. But we are going to test the thingy player. My TV is just here and we'll do that now my new case much better than this big clunky thing i've had this on it before the difference is just i mean i love the sentiment of that pain hub on hub you know whatever hdmi pretty sure this remote control alone is like 20 quid i think it's an upgraded oh i bet that's broken here it is annoyingly i've just sold one with the back on it Damn it. I might have it listed still, actually. Hopefully I've still got it listed. Stinks of old battery acid, this does. Yeah, it's had leaks before. That's broken. The lips lost the catch. See all the old battery acid in there. But the contacts are all good. I'm going to check in a minute to see if I still have that battery. That battery, that remote control listed. And if I do, I'll nick the back off that, no problem. Give me a HDMI. I know it's going to have power. Let me just see if I've got one of those remotes listed still. Active. Panasonic. Nah, sold it. Damn. Remote. I've either sold it or it's still in my archive ready to be listed. Well, we've got power. Please wait. I expect it to have power. I wasn't worried about that. And I am pretty much expecting the DVD to work as well. Ah, uh, the button's been smashed in. There's like 
the bottom has been like pushed in too hard and caved in. Now I could probably um, open this and fix that to be fair. It just means it's not a get it and list it kind of job piece of equipment, which is unfortunate. Oh well, it turns on. So the reason I've got this, whenever you're trying to pry something open, don't be using metal stuff. You'll just break it. This is a nice plastic, I don't know what this is from, but I found it somewhere. Raise me up. Right, let's open that. That opened as I expected it to. Let's get a VHS. Because obviously the main thing here is it's sold as cassette and tested. We'll take the DVD in anyway, just while we're here. Look a little boy at the door. Hello. DVD's working. You can see that there, I didn't realise. That's good. DVD's fine. I knew it would be though. Wasn't worried about that. VHS, the Snow Queen and the Snow Queen's Revenge. Let's change over the source to VHS. I don't want to copy it. Remote works. Right, drive select, VHS. Please wait. Should be on VHS now, play. Tracking, which is fine. Might have chewed the tape up. Hopefully that's just a dirty head. Yeah, I think it's just a dirty head at least. So, have I got a mock cassette cleaner here? I don't think I have. Let me just run it for a bit and see if I can get any dust and grime off of that onto this one. I'll fast forward it a bit. See if we can't get it to clean itself up. Um, Although it does have a message on there saying to watch pictures on VHS, use AV1 socket and switch to an appropriate AV channel on your TV. I find that a bit strange. It's not letting me use the HDMI on there. Maybe it doesn't support HDMI output on the VHS, but it should do. I'm sure all the other ones I have had. We'll check that out. All these things about buying electric, you see. That's why I say the car boot sales. The time it's taken me to test this and get it sorted out, I could have done a few more items and had probably double the amount of listing time. But this is 200 quid. I can go pick five items and get 200 quid up. This is not going to be 200 quid though. Just get a scart lead. <laughs> I can't find my scart leads. I must have burnt through them all, but I have just found a PS2 Slim that I picked up for 25 quid ages ago and chucked it in that box over there. Lovely, I'll get that listed soon. Uh, I must have a scart lead somewhere. Actually, I wonder if, no. That is very, very annoying. I've run out of SCART leads, AV leads, composites and connections. So I can't even fully test it yet. So I have to find one of those at the weekend. How annoying. I've only got bag full. To be fair, right at the bottom of that bag, there probably is some, but that is an Amazon bag full of wires. Try and comprehend that. So on that note, We've got a partially working system for six pounds so far. Hopefully we test it and it's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna leave that one there. I am actually staying at my mother-in-law's tonight. George has got a 12 year old birthday party here tonight of all of his mates, where he's gonna be 13. There's gonna be 12 of them and eight of them are sleeping over. I am not gonna be here. I was gonna book a hotel, had a look and everything else. And then Emma said, why don't you go stay at mum's? I thought, that's a good idea, that's a good idea. So I'll do whatever I want here tonight and then just go there when I'm ready to go sleep. Go to bed, wake up, go and see my friend and have some breakfast. Really appreciate you for watching. I don't know what the hell is this video is going to come to, so my apologies if it's mishmash, but it is what it is. Take care. Love you all. Thank you, everybody who's purchased from me over the weekend and recently. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Imagine just finding a PS2.